Welcome to my video lecture on the topic Serializability from Database Management System. Myself, Jayanti, Assistant Professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering from Dr. MGR Educational and Research Institute, Chennai. Topics to be covered in this video lecture are Schedule, Types of Schedule, Examples of Schedule, Serializability, Conflict Serializability, and View Serializability. Schedule. We have seen in the last video that a set of instructions can be called as programs in programming languages like C, C++ and Java so on. The same set of instructions can be called as process, job or trend in operating system concept. Likewise, in DBMS concept, we say this set of instructions as transactions. These transactions, that is these instructions, performs operations on database. If only one transaction is running in a system, then we don't want to think about this schedule. But when multiple transactions are running concurrently, then there is a need to be sequence in which the operation are performed. It's called as schedule. This schedule is needed in order to maintain the system to a, in a consistent state. Types of schedule. We know that operating system can execute only one operation at a time. So we need to sequence the operation in some order. We call it as schedule. The schedule is broadly divided into serial and non-serial. Let's see one by one. Serial schedule. Transaction is executed completely before starting the execution of another transaction. So, in this type of schedule, the operating system will stick to one transaction. After completing only, it will move to the another transaction. So, it is called as non-interleaved execution. Non-serial schedule. In this type of schedule, where operations of multiple transactions are interleaved. Because here in this type of schedule, at uh, multiple transactions can execute concurrently. Due to concurrency, the transactions are interleaved. Again, this non-serial type is broadly divided into serializability and non-serializability. Let's see an example of schedule. I have given two schedules here. Each schedule is with six operations. That is one, two, 3, 4, 5, 6. First operation is R1 of A. We can call as read operation on the data A in the transaction 1. Likewise, we can call this operation as write operation on the data A in the transaction number 2. As you can see, this is this type of presentation is tough to understand. So I'm converting this into table format. Here in this schedule, only two transactions are involved. Transaction number one, transaction number two. So I have drawn two columns only. Based on number of transaction, you have to draw the columns. And I have converted each operation and I plotted each operation in the tabular format. See, R1 of A belongs to transaction number 1. So, I have written as R of A. And uh, R1 of B belongs to transaction 1. So, I have written as R of B. Everything is plotted according to the position. Likewise, this schedule number 2 is plotted in this table. And uh, R1 of A is be written as R of A since it is comes under transaction 1. Okay, here you can see in this uh, serial schedule, after executing all the operation, the operating system is moved to the transaction number 2. So, we call it as serial schedule or not interleaved schedule. But here in this case, the operating system first starts executing here. 
After executing two operations, it is moved to transaction number two. That is, it is interleaved to transaction two. After executing two instructions from transaction two, it is again moved to transaction one. So, we call this type of transaction as non-serial shedding. We came to the core part of this video lecture about serializability. Serializability is a mechanism of checking the database whether the database is maintained consistency or not. We know that we have two types of scheduling, one is serial and non-serial. In serial schedule, the database is maintained consistency in all the time. But in non-serial type of scheduling, due to concurrent access, the database may not be maintained in consistent state. So, the non-serial schedule is said to be serial schedule only when it's equivalent to serial schedule for an n number of transactions. A serial schedule helps in improving both resource utilization and C CPU throughput. We again categorize this serializability into two parts. One is conflict serializability, the another is view serializability. Conflict serializability. It is a process of finding that the given schedule is conflict serializable or not. A schedule can be called as conflict serializable if it can be converted it into serial schedule by swapping non-conflict operations. The two operations are said to be conflicting if it follows all the three conditions. They belong to different transactions. They operate on same data item or at least one of them is the right operation. For better understanding, let's see an example. What this conflict serializable says, if one non-serial non schedule can be converted into serial type by swapping non-conflicting uh, operation, we can say it as a conflict serializable. Let's see the first example. See, it is a non-serial type of schedule because after executing the first two transactions, first two operation the operating system is moved to transaction two that is it is interleaved from one transaction to another so it is non-serial type so i'm checking whether r of a can be swapped with right of a no it is not possible because as a condition number three this read operation is working on the field a here too this write operation is based on the data field A. Since it is working on the same data field, it cannot be swapped. So we call this schedule as non-conflicting serializable. Now let's come to the second example. So here too, it is a non-serial uh, type of schedule. So in order to convert into serial, I'm uh, trying to swap read of A right of B. Uh, since it operates on different data, here transaction 1 is deals with A, here this transaction 2 deals with right operation, right uh, uh, data B, is it easy to swap? So, we are swapping both right of B with R of A. So, this non-serial type is converted into serial type so, we can call this as conflict serializable. View serializability. Again, it is a process of finding the given schedule is view serializable or not. Consider two schedules with the two transactions T1 and T2 are said to be view equivalent if they satisfy all the below three conditions. One initial read the second is final write and the third is update read. Let's see each conditions one by one. Condition number one, initial read with example. This condition says that in schedule one, if transaction one initiates the read operation 
on x or read operation on y then in schedule 2 also the transaction 1 should initiate. Let's see an example here. See in schedule 1 the transaction 1 have initiated the read operation on x. Likewise transaction 1 have initiated the read operation on y. Same wise in transaction 2 read operation on x is initiated by t1 and the read operation on y is initiated by t1. So this condition is satisfied in S1 and S2. Condition 2, final write. This condition states that if final write on the data X is done by transaction 2 in schedule 1, then in uh, final write on the data X in schedule 2 also should be done by transaction 2. Likewise, the if final write on data y is done by transaction 2 in schedule 1, then final write on data y should also done by transaction 2 in schedule 2. We checked for both the data item x and y and the final write condition is satisfied in x and y. Condition 3, update 3. This condition states that in S1, if transaction 2 reads the value of x written by P1, then in S2, the same transaction T2 should read the x after it is written by T1. Let's check for the y. In S1, the transaction 2 reads the value of y written by T1. In S2, the same transaction T2 writes the value of Y after it is updated by T1. So the update condition is also satisfied for both the schedule. Since all the three conditions are satisfied by two schedules S1 and S2, we can say S1 and S2 are view equivalent. We can also say that the schedule S1 is view serializable schedule. Thank you. Thank you for watching.